Now let us look at this question. Which of the following best rep reflects the financial statement impact of lease accounting on the lessee's account? The total net income is higher under capital lease than operating lease. So, under lessee's perspective, Under operating lease, the lessee pays a fixed rental payment. Under operating lease. Whereas under financing lease, he pays, a, he pays the interest amount plus the principal amount. of the carrying value of the lease this is in the financing lease so the total net income at the first option the total net income is higher under capital lease than operating lease so in the capital lease the lessee is paying the interest amount as well as the principal amount of the carrying value of the lease the carrying value of the lease gets reported in the asset side as well as the liabilities side of the lessee in the asset side it it goes down by depreciation whereas in the liability side it goes down by paying interest and repay and paying uh, repaying the principal amount so that the total net income is higher under capital lease than operating lease In the in initially the interest payment so in the financial statement of the lessee under financial lease the expenses that is recognized is the depreciation amount plus the interest amount on the carrying value of the lease and initially this amount is greater than the rental payment but for the entire life of the lease the rental the sum of the rental payment will be same as the ex expenses recognized under depreciation and interest under financing financing lease and this is under operating lease so my total net income is lower under capital lease than operating lease so this option is incorrect the operating income if it is lower under capital lease lease than the operating lease this option is also incorrect because my ebit earning before interest and taxes minus i minus interest will give me earning before tax so in case of financing lease this interest part is a major chunk of the interest is a major chunk of the expense because that interest part is reported on the carrying value of the of the lease in the balance sheet whereas in operating operating lease no such interest lease interest is recorded hence my ebit that is earning before interest and taxes or the operating income is is higher under capital lease than operating lease so this option is also incorrect the cash flow from operations is higher under capital lease than operating lease so in the operating lease the the lessee is paying the rental amount 
Now the rental amount is a cash flow from operations. Whereas in capitalized, capitalized, capital lease or the financing lease, only the interest payment is a part of the cash flow from operations. The depreciation or the principal, the principal amount paid is a part of the cash flow from financing activities. So hence my cash flow from operations is higher under capital lease than operating lease. So option C is correct.